we spent 80 rand, it means I've got 20 bucks to spend on what I want to spend. Hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Time. So we got another episode now. Uh, before I carry on, make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. So welcome to Rad Times. So today I wanted to do something a little bit more controversial. So we've all heard of this online where people say, hey, stop living paycheck to paycheck, start your business, blah, 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 all of this stuff. And as great as it is, it's actually not true, if I'm honest. Um, so yes, you can, but the idea is that if you're stopping living paycheck to paycheck and them saying start your own business, that you can have so much money that you just won't have to worry about a salary. And that in itself is wrong because that's like one in a million with all due respect, you know, and you can actually probably do that better working at a job, especially in South Africa, the stats show that, that more millionaires are created from working than they are from becoming an entrepreneur. So I think we've got to look at the underneath fundamentals of it. So you can't expect to suddenly just go boom and now you suddenly don't have to worry about a paycheck, you don't have to worry about money, you've actually got to be a builder, be disciplined, otherwise you're going to make more money, have more money, and you're going to spend more money, and that's not going to help you. So I wanted to give you three tips that I've personally tried and to get to the point now where I basically don't worry about and I don't live paycheck to paycheck because I got to this position. I've only recently, obviously with COVID and everything, it did affect things, but I've, rec I've been testing this for years and working on it to find a way that as a normal salaried employee, without making a ton of money, you can actually live with stop living paycheck to paycheck. So here are my three tips. So number one is a weekly budget. So this kind of changes things a little bit. So normally we used to say a monthly budget where you, I'm actually going to take my glass off because I can see the reflection in, but sorry, bad hair day. Um, normally we would plan monthly, go shop monthly, and then you kind of buy things throughout the month. But the problem with this is it works then on like a curve. So you start up here, boom, salary comes in, you all got lots of money. And then you spend and you spend and you spend and you spend and you spend in the 25th year and then you get to, yeah, and this is like the 20th and then you like, I have five days, now what? Um, and then you're eating like pasta and bread and <laughs> whatever else. And we've all been there, we've all done that. Um, I've done it too many times to even count. So, and I hate that feeling because I was like, I, I'm sure there's a better way of doing this. And there is. So if you do it weekly, it means and you allocate strictly, and that'll be a later one. Sorry, helicopter coming over. Um, if you um, if you allocate weekly and you every week, so for instance, if you say just for round figures sake, say you say give yourself a hundred rand a week for food, which is, sounds a bit mean, so I'm just gonna use that for round figures, okay? Hundred rand a week, okay? And you, then you know I can spend 100 rand. You like vigorously make sure you don't spend more than 100 rand every week on your food. You're fine. Then, then you know you because you can afford say 400 rand a month. To say it's a bit more, but you know we'll, we'll adjust it to your standards. You can afford 400 rand a month on your food, or 500 rand depending on the month. For then you know, so it's fine. If you get to the last month, you still got 100 rand as you did in the first month. So. You're, Earnings and your spending goes like this rather than this. Um, and I've personally tried it, it works like a bomb. It takes a lot, and that's point number two. It takes a lot of discipline. You've got to know and you've got to write it. I actually write it down. Um, I moved away from my automated systems because there's a little bit of a delay from um, tracking and everything else. So I actually write it down. I go to the shops and I spend 50 Rand to work into my thing and I come home and I write down I've spent 50 Rand and I plan out my meals as well. I say I'll need X, Y, Z so you don't have wastage. I mean that's just being cost saving but besides that if you write it down then I've got my list of what I'm eating for week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of dinner meals the rest I don't really plan and I've spent so far 50 Rand so I know I've still got 50 Rand to spend and it's a bit of a, a, a treat for me, the less I spend, then it means if I say get to the end of the week and I've only spent 80 rand, it means I've got 20 bucks to spend on what I want to spend um, without dipping into any other money. money. So as I say, that's how I work. I found it fine. It works well. And then, and I say, but you've got to be disciplined about it. You've got to know, I actually don't need that. I don't have money for that. You've almost got to act like you don't have money when you get to that, say, like 100 rand. When you reach 100 rand, you've got to pretend like you don't have any more money. Like as if it were the 20th and you didn't have any more money. Pretend like that because then you, you have a short week of not having it rather than like five days of not having it. You know, so it's a much better thing. And then you say eating a little bit less of niceties rather than trying to scrape up actual food together. 
So say that that's kind of the difference of it. Um, and that's why you would be disciplined throughout because otherwise it doesn't work. And number three is having a little bit of savings for an overrun. So things happen, we all know that. Maybe you get paid late, maybe your money doesn't reflect late, whatever else. So to have a little bit of a stash, um, you know, I say try and keep like a month's food budget or so, um, or, or even, you know, just a little bit. So say you're spending 500 Rand a month on food now, say try and keep 500 Rand a month extra, say in your savings account somewhere, it's quickly and easily accessible. Um, and that, that will just work. So, so um, that's my tips for stopping living paycheck to paycheck. Um, it is a different system. It does take a little bit of discipline, but if you want to get to that point where you're not now, not, not, I wouldn't say not worrying about money, but you're not worry, you're not looking at your account every day, that's the way to do it. Um, I'm actually, this video is partnered with Once a Week Vlog, um, and if you go check them out, guys, I'll put the link down below. That we actually talk a lot about that on my Once a Week Vlog because I do think it's yeah, some way we should work. But anyway, if you have any comments about it, make sure you leave them down below. And as always, remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you next week. Till next time, stay rad.